There was something so disarming about Betty White's charm. May I say how nice it is to sit next to one of the most charming, delightful, witty, vivacious persons in television, Betty White. Oh, you certainly may say that. We don't have to believe it, Bill, but we certainly love <laughs> I believe it. That cheery self-deprecation hid unrivaled talent and drive and power. White began performing on radio in the 30s. She served in the Women's Voluntary Service in the Second World War. By 1949, she was appearing on television daily, five hours live. It was either the test pattern or us, and uh -huh. <laughs> some of the people like the test pattern. But... <laughs> she was a frequent game show guest. On Password, she met host Alan Ludden and married him. <laughs> then this made her a star. Oh, White won two Emmys for her role as the snide and lusty Sue Ann on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Thank you for being a friend. More Emmys would follow for her role as the bumbling bumpkin Rose Nyland on The Golden Girls. Please forgive me. It wasn't my fault. My cousins have been marrying each other for generations. The show challenged society's idea of what it meant to be an old lady. Tonight, we were the king and queen of the rumba. <laughs> Olé. <laughs> Got that right, Skeletor. The older Betty White got, the more fun she seemed to have. What are you doing? Getting drunk. In her late 80s, another sitcom. Advertisements. White, come on! White. A stint hosting Saturday Night Live, another Emmy for that. She was passionate about animals, raising cash and awareness for their safety. People who knew her say this wasn't an act. She really was this nice, this full of joy. It all makes the loss so tough. That's a shame. Uh, she, she was a lovely lady. Always Come love Betty White. Ryan Reynolds, who starred with White in 2009's The Proposal and swapped jokes online with her, wrote today, the world looks different now. She managed to grow very old and somehow not old enough. From LeVar Burton, we have lost one of the best humans ever. White had been planning a star-studded bash for her 100th birthday in two weeks. She didn't make the milestone, but she will certainly be celebrated. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Vancouver.